the first thing we had to do was post that we had a vacancy for an apprentice. And you're thinking, well, but this is apprentice, but they are an employee of the county school system. So we had a posting. Our interview committee consisted of our superintendent, myself, and then we added a young teacher that is going to be mentoring Jaslyn through her college experience. Jaslyn is one of those first generation college students. There's a lot of a lot of documents and a lot of support needed. So then I came back and I talked to our superintendent and I said, we really need a mentor for Jaslyn. Somebody who's going to be a role model, somebody who's going to invite her into their classroom. But I wanted somebody young, you know, shortly out of college herself. We have a young first grade teacher who just turned 25 and is very eager to be a leader in the county as well. So she has agreed to mentor Jaslyn through her college career. Just And she's excited about it. She's like, you know, I can help her with a praxis. I can make sure she's getting her homework done. I can just check base with her and say, are you eating? Are you, you know, have you been studying? Like when you have to do the education classes, let me help you with lesson plans and things like that. So we're very excited about this partnership. And it's something that was not in the apprenticeship manual, but it's something that we felt was very important. Through this whole process, there's a lot of monitoring, monitoring, which is one of the reasons we selected a mentor, because I'm as a director, I wear many hats of uh, federal programs, special ed, pre-K, communities and schools, and the list goes on and on. So I wanted somebody that was going to help as well monitor all the documentation that we needed. So that's again going to be provided by the mentor. There are progress monitoring reports while Jaslyn's in college, just to make sure her grades are where they needed to be, that she is working through the process as, as we were hope. Make The first thing was admission to the education program at the college or university. And that was, I held my breath when I asked her, I said, you do have your letter that you have been accepted. You know, in tracking those milestones, as I mentioned before, passing the praxis, and she has to turn in her semester progress reports as well. You know, she is a teenager, and I just want to make sure, again, first-generation college, that we are supporting her as best we can, and she's meeting those grade point averages. Some other notes is, you know, she has to turn in a timesheet. Again, she is an employee of Pocahontas County Schools. We have to make sure that we communicate about those deadlines, the teaching opportunities within the county and those observations. And there's so many forms. In my previous job in another county, I also worked with the LPN school. And so I'm familiar with the Department of Labor and WIOA and the, the forms and the, the different ways that they can be provided funds. And so we just need to make sure that we have all that. There is a service agreement or a contract, just like we do with any teacher in the county. Jaslyn has a contract with Pocahontas County Schools. So it's between her and the county. We have in ours that she will work with us for at least five years after completion of her degree.